Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how to insert MySQL data into Elasticsearch. And like if you have a huge customer base and you want to import all those customers into Elasticsearch database, so this is how you can do that. So in this case, what we are going to be using is we are going to be using a MySQL server and we are uh, as Elasticsearch is built on Java and we are using Logstash uh, in between my our SQL server and Elasticsearch to import the data from my SQL server so we will be using a JDBC connector uh, to uh, create a config file where we can use the JDBC connector to connect my SQL server database with our uh, Elasticsearch instance so that they can pull the data from my SQL uh, database and send it to the Elasticsearch instance so let's get started so the first thing that you need is you need to download the jdbc connector so to do that just search jdbc jdbc connector for mysql server and hit enter and over here just select this link uh, which says jdbc connector for mysql and when you open it Uh, you will be uh, greeted with this page so just download uh, whatever compressed file you want because it is a jar file so it is universal for every platform so the same jar file will run on windows and linux and mac so just download this and we will be using the uh, the bin uh, jar file so once you have downloaded you will have a mysql connected java dot zip file so what you need is you need to unzip that file so after unzip uh, uh, when you unzip that file you will get this folder over here mysql connector so cd into mysql connector and over here uh, there we are going to be using this file mysql connector java 5.1.4.49 bin.jar so whatever version you download just uh, make sure that you are using bin uh, dot jar file so i have already copied this file in my root directory as uh, jdbc dot jar and i will be using this for, uh, jar file in my configuration for logstash which will be using uh, which we will uh, see right now so just do nano dash etc logstash con dot d and over here you need to create a file uh, configuration file for mysql server so you can name it whatever so i'm naming it mysql server dot com and hit enter and over here uh, this is the config file so if you take a look at the logstash config file it has pretty uh, standard uh, definition like the first uh, first we define the input parameters from where we will be getting the input from and then there is the output section which tells the logstash where to insert the data into so just let's see uh, the input section over here so in the input section we just define the basic J jdbc config section so over here we have specified the jdbc connector file that we downloaded and i have stored mine in root directory so you can store yours in any folder you want so after that we need to specify the collector uh, driver class that we will be using for our connection so in my, our case we are going to be using com.mysql.jdbc uh, driver so this is for mysql server and over here we are going to uh, specify the connection string which is uh, which tells that we are going using jdbc connector for mysql and the mysql server is on localhost port 3306 and the, uh, the job schema is the name of the database or the schema that you are using after that we are we specified the database username and password and this is the scheduler so this is a this creates a corn job in the in your linux uh, uh, linux operating system and this takes uh, this makes sure that 
how much uh, frequently this uh, JD, uh, this config file will be run and the data will be imported from MySQL. So over here, there is this is the statement uh, of which data fields we will be importing from our table from my our uh, MySQL server. And if you take a look at this section over here, when uh, if we just take, uh, keep this config file uh, comprised of these lines, that means that whenever we run our config file, what Logstash will do is Logstash will uh, select all the uh, rows that um, uh, that are related to this query and then it will push all those rows into Elasticsearch and it does not check if that row has already been imported into Elasticsearch so there will be a lot of duplicate entries so to avoid that what we use is we use uh, use column value uh, we set this true and uh, that what this does is it keep track of the last value that is inserted and the tracking column is the job id so if there is a job id that has a duplicate uh, that has already been inserted into elasticsearch and mysql has sent that job id again to uh, logstash then the logstash will ignore that and start the start from the next UI, uh, job id and start inserting in the incremental order so you uh, end up having a unique data set into your elasticsearch and after that we specify the output section where we specify the elasticsearch host and the index where we will be storing the uh, data so let's uh, get into it so the first thing that we need is we need to insert the data into our sql server so let uh, for inserting our data what you need to do is you need to log in into your sql server your mysql server enter your password and over here we are going to create a new database so these uh, uh, the whole command will be in the description below so you can follow along in order to uh, practice this demo so just we are going to create a new schema with the name job schema and over here we are going to create a new table within this schema which will be uh, job data and it will have the following columns job id job name execution time and job status and hit enter and after that we are going to insert some data into it so let's paste the insert commands over here and the data has been successfully inserted so just if you want to uh, view the data just to select static from job schema dot job data and hit enter and as you can see over here we have seven entries in our mysql database so let's exit from here and now we are going to import this data into our Elasticsearch host. So let's get started. So we are going to use Logstash. So the binary for Logstash is stored in user directory. So user share Logstash. And over here we are going to be going in bin directory and over here Logstash. And we are going to specify our config file which is located in etc logstash conf.d and over here mysql.com and now hit enter and now this what it, this is going to do is this is going to pass this config file to logstash server and logstash is going to parse this configuration file and see what is asked for from logstash in order to perform this action so I will be back once the process has started so it is just uh, now loading all the required packages into memory so that it can import all the data into Elasticsearch so I will be back once that is done so as you can see over here the uh, data insertion finally started and it is it has started importing all our data from our mysql uh, database as you can see over here the job name and the job id and execution time and all the fields are 
uh, imported from our uh, MySQL database and it has started inserting them into Elasticsearch. So now let's go to Elasticsearch and go to Stack Management and over here select Index Pattern. And we are going to create a new index pattern. And this is the index that we specified in our config file. So just copy that and paste it over here and click on next and over here we are going to select timestamp as our filter and create index pattern so now what this does is it it allows uh, kibana to query uh, send queries to elasticsearch and then load that data into uh, kibana interface so now if we go to kibana and discover and over here we can see that uh, our index has been selected and the data that we sent to Elasticsearch has been passed into different fields and stored into our uh, Elasticsearch instance and now we can run queries over here like if we want to filter our data according to the job ID so let's say job ID is equal to and let's say we want to only view the uh, data from the index where uh, from the document which has the job id of seven and if you click enter you will see that it filtered out all the results and it gave us the only result that had the job id of seven let's say that's how you can insert your data from my sql server over to elasticsearch and then perform different operations that you want to perform over here and create different dashboards related to your data so that's it for this video if you have any questions do comment down below and do subscribe to our channel and and we uh, if you have any questions do comment down below and we will try to help you out in any way we can so thanks for watching